Five tips that I think are going to be helpful for newer players. I myself am a newer player, and these are things that I've realized as I've been playing that I think I could share with some of you that, that could be helpful. So uh, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. The first one that I want to talk about that I think is going to be incredibly helpful um, is don't ignore this rank. Don't ignore ranking your, your characters up. Uh, it's pretty inexpensive to do in the earlier stages, and even just hitting that first rank which if we go to somebody that I don't have ranked up yet, let's say someone down here, uh, and we, it's, it's pretty inexpensive. It only costs one for the first rank, and you immediately unlock a new skill or a new passive, and that changes your characters dramatically. So I, it's, it's easy to get caught up in getting their level up and trying to get their star up and worrying about their gear and worrying about all the other things. Don't ignore this rank. This is huge. They get pretty good stat bumps from each level, and then again, first level, they unlock a skill, and then again at rank three, which is also not that expensive. It's only five, and I think this one costs two or three. So it's it's relatively cheap to do, and it it changes your characters immediately. It it, it totally changes the way they operate. So don't ignore that. I, I made the mistake of ignoring that in the earlier stages of of the game, and obviously it's only been out for a couple of days. But like in my first, in my little bit of earlier progression, uh, I could have just done this and changed my characters dramatically. So. Uh, that's the first tip that I want to talk about. Another one I want to talk about, kind of a, an obscure one, but uh, if you're doing summons, right, and you run out of the spirit bells or secret fate or whatever these these things are called. <laughs> I don't know why I thought they were called spirit bells. Um, if you hit summon 10, if you're one of the people that's going to use your currency to do these summons, uh, then this will be a pretty good tip for you. It's going to cost 1500 to drop 10 right here. However, if before you do that, you go into the shop and you go into monthly purchase limit, it's going to be down here grayed out for me. Here, it costs 680, 680 of these things. So instead of spending 1500 to do the summit, the, the 10 pop, you can come in here and get a more than 50% discount on basically your first 10 pop that you're going to do without the actual currency for summons. So if you're someone that's going to be spending the, that currency on summons early on, I don't recommend that you make a habit of it. But if you're going to do it early on, I would recommend coming in here and grabbing that. And honestly, I'll probably grab this every month. It's basically a half off 10 pop. So uh, if, if you're someone who is spending a little bit of money in the game, even it, this currency probably won't be like 680 a month won't really be that bad for a bonus 10 pop, basically. So uh, I just want to make sure you're aware of that if you're someone that's going to be using your currency to summon, go in the shop and grab your half off uh, 10 pop because it doesn't let you know it's there and it doesn't default you to it. When you, when you go to 10 pop, it's like you want to spend 1500 on this. And it's like, well, <laughs> uh, I'd rather spend 680 or whatever it ended up costing. Um, so that's a tip. Another tip I want to talk about is utilizing your affinity, for lack of a better word, and positioning. I've got a little clip here that shows you one, you can look at all the all of the potential targets on the battlefield and there will be a little green arrow up or a little red arrow down and that's letting you know and you can see the damage difference in who we're targeting, right? There, there are standard attacks for both of them, but the one with the down red arrow is strong against us, so we're doing significantly less damage. And then you'll also notice on the one that has the green arrow, we wouldn't kill, but if we go around behind we will kill. So make sure that you're paying attention to your opportunities for position, your matchups. You're not on a timer here. All right. You, you it, it's it's based on turns. If you're trying to three star stages, it's based on turns. It, it's not going to time. You have plenty of time to think about what you want to do. So try not to be in a hurry. I know a lot of these games, they, they tend to put us in a hurry and we want to auto everything and we want to run through it. Uh, this game, you don't have to be like that. So if you are trying to three-star stages, just make sure you're paying attention to that stuff because, again, kind of easy to overlook. And if you've been playing mobile games for a while, you're aware of, of affinity advantage, but it's like it's becoming less and less important, it feels like, in these games. Here, it's pretty important, and that's a pretty good testament to it, okay? Another thing I want to talk about is... Uh, how do we get there? That's the question. Voyage, crossing worlds. Eventually, you're going to unlock memory retrieval. And this is where you're going to get stars for your characters. So ordinarily, you'd pull dupes. If we take a look real quick at our characters, you'd pull dupes. And that's how you would up the, the star level, right? 
So like, for example, um, Crimson Falcon, the game gives you some some Crimson Falcon frags to up the star rating of, of this character. So pulling dupes is the fast way to do it. However, once you have a copy of a champ, you can take them into memory retrieval. And there's an important thing to note about this dungeon. Uh, one, it's one a day. So you get one attempt a day in here. You're, you're farming frags of memories for whoever you take into the dungeon. So don't just dump a full team in here. Try to take champs that you need dupes of. So you'll see here, we I just used my two legendaries because they're the ones that I want to farm dupes for. The epics aren't proving too difficult to get dupes of, but the legendaries will be fairly difficult to get dupes of. So uh, you'll see I'm just running my legendaries in here, and it's not that hard. Now, I'm sure as the difficulty goes up, it'll get more difficult. And maybe it'll be a little bit harder to do this with one or two champs. But you want to do it with as few as possible because you'll notice as I remove champs from the lineup, we're getting more frags for the champs in place. So this will drastically speed up the process if you're aware of this moving forward instead of just dumping a full team into it every time that you come do it. So uh, I think that that's a really, really important tip. Um, Moving it right along, I don't even know how many tips we're at anymore. I'm, I'm saying five. I don't know how many we've done. Uh, this one, Voyage uh, Memento, you want to make sure that you're staying on top of this. This is really important. There are a lot of really good resources in here. And speaking of resources, you do want to be careful about how you're, how you're managing your resources. So, uh, for example, in the rank. Now, as the, the way this works, real quick breakdown, you're going up the tiers, and every time you hit one of these levels where it splits off, you get to pick one or the other, and it doesn't cost you anything extra to pick one of these skills. However, if you want to come back and get the other skill on the other side, it's going to cost you these things called uh, Castilia. It's hard to say how rare these are really going to be, but I assume they're going to be fairly rare. So this is an example of a resource that you probably want to hold off on using for a while, just until we get an idea of how accessible they're going to be. You, Because I've got two right now. And I'm in the early game. Sometimes these games give you this stuff early on, almost like a false security blanket, like, <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I've, I've already got two. Surely I'll get more. Maybe not. So be very careful when you're using these resources. Be very careful when you're, um, you know, breaking your breaking through your gear and leveling up your gear. Uh, we don't we don't know how accessible. I don't know anyway how accessible this stuff is. So I'm trying to be fairly careful with what resources I'm using. So just, I, I, would, I would give it a minute. Upgrade stuff that feels reasonable to upgrade, but be careful about what you're upgrading because you don't want to waste really good resources on crap gear. You don't want to waste Castilia on skills that maybe you, you don't ultimately want to use. So just be mindful of your resources, okay? And then one final tip that I figured out in a video this morning, uh, you can scroll through your characters like this. So if you're if you're coming in and looking at your roster and upgrade, upgrading your gear, uh, you don't have to keep backing out and selecting a new character. There's no real indicator that you can do that. And maybe some of you already know this. I was looking for arrows and I wasn't seeing them. So I assumed it couldn't happen. And then I just randomly decided to try to drag and it worked and uh, it'll work in a, in a few different screens. So if you're ever in a situation where you're trying to get to another character, it's worth clicking and dragging to see if you can scroll through a little faster. Uh, it might save you a bunch of time. <laughs> so uh, that's it. Uh, again, we're calling it five tips. I don't know how many tips it ended up being. I think at least five. So I hope this was helpful. If you've got any other tips that you want to drop in the comments down below, like I said, I'm also new. I'm not, I'm, not the, I'm not the pro here. So if you've got any tips that I didn't talk about here that you want to drop below, I would appreciate it. And I'm sure other viewers would appreciate it. And if there's enough good ones down there, maybe we'll do a follow-up video with some of the tips that you guys suggested. So that's it. I'm getting out of here. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope it was helpful. And we'll see you in the next one.